have ridden from Sorrento right to here, Tamini. And the view from our restaurant across the water is Capri Island. <laughs> We're having homemade pasta with tuna and almonds, some potato croquettes, and a mixed salad with green olives and tuna. Turn the scooter. If you could smell the coffee in here and the chocolate. Goodbye, Sorrento. On the way to Pompeii. On the way to Pompeii. You have the address, don't you? This quaint B&B is called La Casa di Plinio. Small bathroom but clean and functional. Nicely renovated clean rooms. This is the backpack that I used to carry all my gear in. And upon arrival to this B&B, the taxi driver opened up the rear door of the, the van and the first bag to fall out and roll down the road was this one. It's got all my cameras, MacBook Pro, everything, all the fragile bits in it. But everything seems to be okay, so uh, thank God for that. And on the back you have the list of the places that you can find open today. Usually we suggest to full. Seven and eight, the forum and the theatres these two take two hours. We're on our way to the uh, ruins of Pompeii. We've actually just arrived at the entrance. The sky is a little bit threatening. But hopefully <laughs> the gods won't that's an understatement. It is come crashing down on us. <laughs> the town of Pompeii was founded in the 6th century BC. The Mount Vesuvius eruption destroyed the city, killing its people and burying them under tons of ash. The site was lost for 1,500 years and rediscovered in 1599. There's rain, there's thunder, it's really adding to the atmosphere. The objects that lay beneath the city have been preserved for years due to the lack of air and moisture. This is the fish and meat market. Let's see if we can find some good produce to cook with. Pompeii has been a tourist destination for over 250 years and now has 2.5 million annual visitors. Hey guys, it's another morning and today we're going to see some other ruins. Apparently they are smaller but they are in better condition. And then after that we're going to see the volcano. So as you can see, if you want to come down to Pompeii, what you need is to have an earlier, a later session. We started our session at 4pm and it's much, much less crowds than if you go at 11pm, uh, then at 11am. And now we're going to buy some train tickets to catch a train. Concept of time here in Italy, 20 minutes. 
20 minutes means an hour. So we finally made it here in Ecolano. First of all we had to buy the tickets and they told us it was going to be 20 minutes and we just missed the train. It was just pulling out. And then so we waited and the 20 minutes turned into what, about 45 minutes? Easy. <laughs> and we got on the train and they told us six stations so we counted six stations and eight stations later we still haven't arrived. No, I think it was nine but then there was two stations of the same name. So then we get to the ninth station instead of the sixth and there's Escalano, but there's two Escalano, so which one to get off? So basically we just watched the crowd and got off with it. Travelling is fun but can be frustrating sometimes. Located in the shadow of Mount Vesuvius, Herculaneum or Ecolano was an ancient Roman town destroyed by the volcano in 79 AD. This is my favourite room in the whole house because this is where all the hot food was kept. It was covered by the pyroclastic material which preserved wooden and other objects such as roofs, beds, doors and even food. Herculaneum was a wealthier town than Pompeii. Around 300 skeletons were discovered in recent years as it was thought until then that the town had been evacuated by the inhabitants. We're now in a bus climbing to Vesuvio Volcano. Mount Vesuvius eruption is equal to 1.5 million tons per second. In comparison, it's 100,000 times the thermal energy released by Hiroshima bombing. Today it's regarded as one of the most dangerous volcanoes in the world because of the population. Mount Vesuvius is like a pressure cooker. It's under pressure and it's ready to erupt at any time. In fact, it's long overdue. Here in Pompeii you can see the our old, old city, the archaeological site that they found after the eruption of the Vesuvium and uh, it's a very great experience. You can see the whole city and uh, uh, the whole story of Pompeii. And we are in good position for the everything here, for watching other ruins, other temples like in Pestum. And their Colano ruins. Thank <laughs> you. 